Hey guys, we're back today with a special treat. This book is by Kyle Gold and it is called The Green Fairy. It is one of my favorite books by Kyle Gold. It has an amazing story. It's about a young black wolf named Saul who starts drinking uh, absinthe, which is also nicknamed the Green Fairy in some parts of the world. And he starts having these dreamlike visions and where he's living, reliving the memories of a young fox who was a dancer at the Moulin Rouge, you know, at the turn of the century in uh, the, in, 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 in Montmartre, if I'm pronouncing that right. He's also reading a book by, uh, by the, by, that was supposedly written by the young fox, one of the, the young fox's love interest, who, uh, describes a very different outlook on, like, Nikki's, uh, personality. Sorry. I believe that's the young fox's name. On the, uh, on his personality, I believe the fox's name is Nikki. It's been a, you know, and, uh, and and Saul slowly starts to realize that the uh, events that is depicted in the Chemois book, Confessions, and what actually happened are two very different things. And Saul and his friend and his friend Meg Kenick, who's an otter, like embark on an adventure with, that started out as a class project on Van Gogh. Not only that, but Saul is dealing like with a, dealing with like a lot of issues, like at school, with a boyfriend that he only that, that he met online and only knows through text. And there's a lot here, but I don't want to spoil it, especially for the readers that might want to go pick this book up and see it for themselves. But I just wanted to do this book. I have like a lot. I have all of Kyle's books on Audible, and I have a lot of his books on Kindle. I, you know, I've been trying to pick up as many of the physical books as I can, but with a lot of stuff going on right now. And like I said, what I, uh, here's the back of the book. I believe the character on the back of the book is uh, a character that was uh, Nikki's friend named Henri Tunoir. He's an artist who actually... And he plays a pivotal role in the story, too. And from what I understand, Kyle wrote this book after visiting the actual Moulin Rouge in uh, Paris. And I really enjoyed this book. Really think that if you can look past the genre, like, and stuff, that it's a great, powerful story that will draw you in and make you care about these characters. And you'll be sad when it ends. You'll, you know, it, it, trust me, it's a, it's a satisfying ending. It's a, it has a satisfying ending, but it still is a very, like, uh, you know, kind of like, like, you know, it's a very, it's a kind of like a very powerful kind of sad ending, like where everything works out to some extent, but the, some things, you know, but some things, you know, even though, you know, we want to change, we can't. And Saul realizes that a lot of the problems he has, you know, there are people out there, past, present, and future, that have had been in a lot worse uh, uh, ways than he has. And like I said, Nikki is able to, by letting Saul relive his life, to help uh, Saul get his own life worked out and, and figure out himself. One of the issues that Saul's dealing with in the book is, I, like I said, I apologize. I don't want to go into too much detail because I don't want to ruin the story for anybody who hasn't heard it. One of the things that Saul's dealing with is he's uh, trying to figure out his own sexuality and uh, and uh, and claims to to be gay in the book. But if you read the other two to this book, Red Devil and Black Angel, he's actually dating a girl later on, so I don't know. Like I said, maybe he's bisexual or what, but the point is, if you don't like that, you don't even have to worry about that, because there's not even a lot of that in the book. There's no scenes. It's mostly about the story, about the hardships, 
you know, the characters and about how they overcome it. It's one of Kyle's best works. And one of the reasons why I wanted to do this review is the people at uh, Fur Planet. And uh, I think I'm pronouncing the site's name, Fur Planet. And also another great site, Sofa Wolf. They went the extra mile and with, with Kyle. And they uh, actually was able, hold on, to get this... And they actually was able to get this book autographed for me by Kyle Gold. It is uh, one of my favorite books signed by one of my favorite authors. And I will, uh, you know, and I'll keep it forever. You know, it reads, you know, for Chuck Connors, the gift of the Green Fairy, best Kyle 2021. I think that's what it says. I'm looking through the phone and... Like I said, I hope you can see it really nice, but I guess I... Yeah, you know, I'm looking through the phone right now, and I hope you can see it, like I said. But this one's actually autographed by Kyle Gold, which makes it all the more special to me. And it's, like I said, a really great book, and I appreciate the wonderful people at Fur Planet and uh, Sofa Wolf and even Kyle himself for taking the time to, like sign this book he even like he we you know me and my brother even like contacted him through email and he got and he actually emailed us back you know he's a very he's a very uh talented author who really tries to who who in my experience really tries to to uh to uh to uh, to, to 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 be there for his fans and I love a, a lot of his books. I intend to get more of his books and to read more of his books because I'm someone who really loves books. I read books from all different like uh, genres. I mean, I read action. I read adventure. I read historical type books like, you know, with historical characters like, you know, like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, you know... You know the uh, you know you know you know you know the the picture of Dorian Gray. I like all books from all types of like literature and stuff like that. You know, and just really enjoy Kyle's writing style and his uh and his work. And like I said, he's one of my top best authors, and I really enjoy his work. Like I said, I even read like comic books and graphic novels. You know, so like I said, but I just wanted to do this video with this book showing you that it is a great book. And like I said, you should definitely give it a chance because if you don't, you're just missing out on a really great, powerful story that will draw you in, keep you interested, and really make you care about the uh, characters. And while it does have a sad uh, ending, it's, a, it's, 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 a, it's also a satisfying ending in which Saul... Gets his life, uh, you know, all figured out and gets his life and, and gets his affairs in order and eventually goes off to bigger things in his life. And that's all because of Nikki. I'm guessing that's Nikki in the background, sorry, at the Moulin Rouge. It's a beautiful cover art, a beautiful book. And like I said one last time, just like to show you that Kyle took the time to sign this one for me. And I really appreciate that because, as I said, I really love the story. It's one of my favorite books he does. And like I said, he's a, he's one of my top favorite authors. You know, and, you know, he you know, he's just got this way of writing that creates an atmosphere where it draws you in. I mean, this is one of my favorite books, and I have all three books on audiobook and Kindle, and I picked this one up as I wanted to get it signed by Kyle, and he was, like, really, really great at, like, responding to my to my brother's emails. My brother actually got this for me as a birthday gift, you know, kind of late, but it was a great gesture, and I really appreciate it. It's something I will hold on to and will keep. And, uh, like I said... I love all of Kyle's books, whether it be the Out of Position books or the 
Dude, Where's My Fox book. I heard, and there's even a sequel to that one I call Dude, Where's My Pack? And I intend to pick that one up. Uh, two is uh, Waterways books. Like I said, he's just an all-around great author. And it, to me, it doesn't matter what the genre is. I read action, adventure, comic books, graphic novels, anything. Because as anybody knows who reads books, the, uh, you know, the... Y y you know, the, 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 the true enjoyment of a book isn't in the ending, but the, but, but the journey and the adventure involved. With that, I'd like to end this video, and thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. You can find these videos on Eccentric Broadcasting and Guillotine Cinema. And as always, take care of yourself. Uh, out there, my fellow YouTubers, until we meet again. Goodbye.